now let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Brothers and sisters, we do not want you to be uninformed about those who sleep in death, so that you do not grieve like the rest of mankind who have no hope. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again, and so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him. According to the Lord's word, we tell you that we who are still alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will certainly not perceive those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangels, and with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so we will be with the Lord forever therefore encourage one another with these words thank you for joining us pearls with Veronica thank you for tuning us on Tuesday night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time join us and share the file I'm Jerry Woods Live Worldwide and welcome to Positive Power that works at Christian Media Hey, Veronica, your mic is not on. Oh, I'm, oh, I was just going in. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> thank you, Jerry. Thank you, Jerry. I would like to thank you and welcome everyone to episode 55, Double Nickels <laughs> with Pearls with Veronica. We are a podcast based on the transparency of the grief and loss process and navigating the rough terrains of life, adversity, and how we as survivors have made the choice to live forward on Jerry Royce Live Worldwide and the Positive Double X Christian Media family. I want to thank our sponsor, Oscar Collars, for being a gracious seed planter. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And before we go any further, I'd like to open up with prayer. Oh, Lord, our God, you are worthy of all our praise. You are the God who never fails to keep his promises. Oh, God, we thank you that in Jesus' life, death, and resurrection, we see your love, justice, mercy, provision, and victory. We claim the victory. You are the God who lifts up those who are weighed down. Oh, God, you are the God who provides for your children. Our desire is to praise you as long as we live. Inhabit our praises as we gather together tonight through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The sweet sound of music. It's been called many things. The universal language, a great healer, even a reflection of the divine. Music, without a doubt, is very powerful. Music helps to address the physical, emotional, cognitive, and social needs. Music also helps reduce the heart rate, lower blood pressure, and cortisol in the body. It eases anxiety and can help improve your mood. My guest tonight is no stranger to me and to you all. She had, she was my guest a year ago of episode 24. Nikki Berry, are you here? Yes. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hi. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing so great. Thank you for having me. I'm excited. I've been oh, waiting on the show all day. Yes. <laughs> yes. Listen, I want to tell you, ooh, Restore Me has been, you know how everybody say, my jam. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Yes, that has been yes. my go-to jam. <laughs> I, I love will find that. Myself waking up singing, we saw everything I yes. lost. We saw. You better sing it, sis. 
Everything that was stolen from me. Yes, I love, I love it. it. I get happy. I love I it. Sing a little bit. <laughs> yes. I do a little something, something, Nikki. <laughs> I love it. I love Just it. A little tell something. you something. Just a little I did something. not. I didn't know the impact that that song would have because that song started out as a personal. Just, you know, me, I mean, crying out to God. And God said, it's a song of healing. And so when you were saying that earlier, how music, you know, heals, I was like, wow, God. <laughs> so amazing. Oh, yes. <laughs> I want to let everybody know that Nikki was born in Bill Platt, Louisiana. However, her musical journey began in Beaumont, Texas. It was there that she developed her musical talents and interest at the Pleasant Green Baptist Church under the leadership of Pastor Jane C. C. Franklin. Nikki began leading songs at a very young age, and with the coaching of director Bonnie Wooldridge, her voice began to evolve into something special. She was well known for her singing all over town and was named most talented of her graduating class of Westbrook Senior High. After graduating, Nikki attended Prairie Review A and M University with a BS in mechanical engineering. Yes, <laughs> she then moved to Houston, Texas, and that became her new home. Nikki has worked for major engineering companies in the Houston area, but has never lost her love for music. She began writing in 2008 after experiencing some difficult times in her life. Music most definitely has encouraged her to push through and never stop trusting God. So, what do else, what else do you want us to know about Nikki? <laughs> well, listen, <laughs> just that I love God first, and I love Amen. His Amen. people. Um, I just think sometimes we can get so caught up in in doing things and chasing things that we forget to just love and see others. So I feel like Amen. that's who I am. I'm a person who just really wants to encourage people through, you know, music, words, and just just really, like, change the atmosphere. You know, Amen. I want people to go, you know, I like being around that person um, because, yeah, all of us <laughs> – have been places where we're like, wow, like that person is just not a, you know, really nice person to be in the same room with. I never want that exactly. to be said. I want to bring light and hope everywhere. Amen. Amen. You know, once again, I want to thank you for accepting the invitation and, you know, just to be yes. a, a guest again for us with new and exciting things to, you know, to tell the listeners tonight. Did you always know you wanted to pursue a creative or, art, or artistic career? Wow. Well, I, I guess yes and no. <laughs> because <laughs> I knew that I always loved singing, right? I knew it was always in me, but I did not always know that it would be something that I would actually pursue. You know, and so that's why I kind of, you know, went to college and, you know, became an engineer. It's like, okay, you know, I need a job, right? And so sometimes <laughs> right. you're not really thinking about your about your passions or your dreams. You're just kind of focused on, okay, I need to do something to be able to, you know, pay the bills and all of those things. And so that's the route that I took. But it was just always in me. So I finally had to come on back, right, because I just kept feeling this nudging, this this urge, right. like, hey, are you going to do something with all these gifts in there, you know? And so, yeah, finally I was like, God, I'm sorry that I've taken so long, and I am going to move forward. So I did know. I just didn't always act on it. Right. That's like tonight I was speaking with a new manager that we have in I was telling her my story. We were just talking about life. And mm -hmm. she said, you're, you're, you're going to have three college graduates. She said, man, I salute you. She said, girl, you need to write a book about that. I'm like, oh, my goodness. I said, okay, God, yes. you come again with this, write this book. <laughs> but yes. you know what me, and I always say it, the fear factor. And I'm always telling God, God, please don't, don't, don't give up on me, God, because I, I, I got to get it mm. done. I, I'll get it done. I'm going to get it done. I got to get into a quiet place just to do it. So 
I met my mind tonight after that, I said, you know what, Veronica, you have got to steal away to begin to. I have what I need for the book. It's just putting it, like, well, how do I start? Where do I start? So that's in my thing, fear and where do I start? Because I have all that I need. Mm -mm -mm. Um, you, well, sis, I know, listen, I know. <laughs> I'm gonna say I gotta tell you a word that I heard today, and it blessed me. Yes, ma'am. And when you said, you I just gotta me. figure out where to start. They told me they said if you would just start anywhere, God will finish it, but He can't finish something that you don't ever start. Because God rejoices to see the work begin. I said, wow, that's powerful. So mm -hmm. just start anywhere, even if it ends up in the middle or wherever. Just start, and God's going to bring it together. So, yeah, there you go. <laughs> mm. God rejoices in the start. Mm -mm. Yes. I, I've written that down. If you would just start, God rejoices in the start. Mm -hmm. He rejoices that in on the beginning. And that's a in scripture. I'm going to have to tell you what it is, but it okay. is a scripture. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You, I know you're going to give it to me before we leave. I know you're going to give it to me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I know you will give it to me most definitely. As an inspirational singer, recording artist, songwriter, actress, and author, what has been your um, development and your unique style for, for for music and the recording and songwriting and, and, and acting? Yeah, so I think the uniqueness came from I really have a love for different types of music. Um, mm -hmm. like I like gospel, I like CCM, classical, love it. I love jazz. So I think when you're yes. just a lover of music, you're able to be creative and just do whatever you feel. You know, instead of trying to fit a certain type of music, um, I feel like I have a freedom inside of me that just allows me to just give the music out just as I hear it and not trying to shape it to fit something that somebody might say, okay, this is good for radio over here or this is good for this. No, I just want to be authentic and creative with everything that God gives it to me just like I hear it. I know um, in reading, uh, you said, say that the most rewarding aspects of being an artist for me is the personal positive impact my work has brought to the lives of others. When I realized yeah. that my artistry was bigger than me, it really changed the game for me. People were waiting on what I had to offer, and they have shared how the songs and book encouraged them during difficult times. Now, you know, I just yeah. told you, restore me was, you know, that's my go-to jam. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, I'll find myself waking up singing on the way to work. I'm wow. Work, on lunch break. I'm singing. I'm like, God, why am I singing this song? But, you know, just something that he placed in my heart, you know, just to, just to sing that song. And it really yeah. has helped me a whole lot, you know. And the journal, the the the, um, the journey to restoration, the forty day prayer journal, journey to restoration. I love that as well. I love my candles. Yes. yes Thank yes, you yes, so yes. much. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I, really I mean, when I was gifting them to me, it was beautiful. I love. Yes. Them. When I finally realized, you know, that it wasn't really for me because I kept making it about me. And so that was the reason why I had never started, right? That was the reason why I never really, because it was always about me. Well, do I need to be doing this? Like, does God really need me? Like, they have all these other people. Like, they have these great singers. They have these great authors. Like, why would anybody need me? And God's like, that's why I want you, because you recognize I don't need you. But I want you. I want to want use you. you, but I don't need to. And when you get that, and he's like, and I just want to work through you for others because there's somebody else Amen. that needs what I gave you. I didn't give it to you just for you. And so when I got that, Amen. it just freed me. 
I mean, it freed me to go forth and say, girl, stop, (laughs) stop thinking about all that other crazy (laughs) stuff that you've been coming up with, you know, and all of these fears and doubts and all, all this, like, girl, come on now, let that go. You, (laughs) you have a duty, you have a job and somebody is waiting on you. Somebody's waiting on you. I, I don't care if it's one person. They're waiting on what you have. Hmm. Yeah. That, that, that truly me. Take free me. Mm. Yes. It's liberating. Very liberating. And yes. I received a text message from an evangelist a while back, and she said, you have the tools, and they're waiting on you. And it scared me. It mm-hmm. literally scared me. And she said, when you, when you start, you, you're going to be amazed because God is going to be guiding you through the whole process. And I was like, yeah. Evangelist, I, I was saying to my head, Evangelist, you just don't know. <laughs> you just don't know. Yeah. Evangelist. I don't know. You know, and she was like, don't worry about the people. Don't worry. Just do what you're supposed to do. Put it in the atmosphere and keep moving. So that's it. Um, I have, th- this is one platform. And another platform is to use you know, Zoom or to use Facebook Live when, I, when a word comes to me just to give it out. A lot of times I write mm-hmm. it on Facebook, what God has given me, but I know that I have to not only write it out, but I need they need to hear my voice. You said they need to yes. hear your, your voice. Mm-hmm. I said, okay, 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 okay. And I am loving how Journey to Restoration, the 40-day prayer journal, you know, um, has launched your motivational speaking Yes, <laughs> you know, and bringing the importance to prayer, you know, and That's a candle right. line. So tell us about the candle line, um, encouraging prayer, meditation, healing, and relaxation. <laughs> you know, yes. tell us how all of these are incorporating, you know, our prayer life, you know, setting the atmosphere, right. setting the tone. Yes, ma'am. Because, listen, I didn't even really, like, set out with, like, all of this. I just started, right? (laughs) And Mm -hmm. God began to show me piece by piece that sort of created, you know, this whole thing. And I'm like, God, you're just awesome because the candles, I just simply love them, okay? Always have. And so when I was like, okay, I'm going to do a candle line, but it's not just going to be any candle line. First of all, it's going to be premium luxury candles that are just going to, you know, be amazing. But each candle is named after a song. So with each candle being named after a song and then their custom scent, so that scent gives you what I felt and the experience I had with that song. So you get to experience Mm. that in that scent when it burns and it's in the atmosphere. So, yeah. It's really, really awesome. And then you had the music and then the candles and then the book, the prayer book. That was something I kept saying, man, I don't need to do Yeah, no. And I had different people telling me, you need to write a book of prayers. And I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, no. And so finally, probably about the third person, that said, I was like, okay, maybe I need to do this. Maybe, maybe I'll look into it that day. That day, I could not sleep because I had finally said yes. I couldn't sleep. So I stayed up until about Mm. 3.30 a.m., and God gave me the title for every 40 days in order. I'm telling you, it it was all him. In order, from the thankfulness to the gratefulness, forgiveness. I mean, he put the whole prayer journal in order. And I was just blown. I was like, wow, this how you going to do me, God? <laughs> He's like, I've been waiting on you, girl. Yeah. So oh, now yeah. We, we have a whole mm-hmm. restoration experience. Yes, the restoration line of candles. Yes, everything about restoration. Everything, restoration, restoration. And for some reason with me, I just cannot get away from Anything dealing with pearls, I'm like, okay, I've got to go back and study how the pearl is made. 
you know, mm-hmm. and I'm like, okay, God, is this made from something rough, irritation? <laughs> when the officer becomes irritated, I'm like, oh, my God, that's me. I said, that sounds like me, Jesus. <laughs> Cause I know yeah. that I'm going to have to incorporate that somewhere. And I, I've been writing it down. Like you say, just start and God will give it to you. You know, I, I just, oh, you just don't know. So what exciting has been going on for Nikki? New albums, new books. <laughs> Tell me what's happening with Nikki. 2020. Yeah, well, listen, first of all, my brand new single, Grace and Mercy. Yeah. I'm telling you, this song here is, it's, I don't know. Everybody hears it and they're like, wow. I heard it. I was like, wow. I was like, God, you are amazing. This song is like a burst of energy, excitement. It will pick you up. And it's out now, so you can get it everywhere. It's called Grace and Mercy. Uh, So that's going on. Got a video for that song as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, And then... I'm having my very first women's conference this summer. <laughs> it's going to be July where, 29th where? to the 31st. It's going to be in the Woodlands, Texas, which is right outside of Houston. But it's called Restoration Weekend. And it's going to be awesome. I have speakers. I'm going to be singing. We're going to be praying. We're going to have worship. We're going to wake up. Saturday at 7 a.m., we're going to go outside, and we're going to have stretch and pray. We're going to have great meals. It's just going to be awesome. We're going to, we're going to have fun and network, you know, with like-minded, like-spirited women, and we're going to have fun yeah. and worship because some people think Christians can't have fun. We can have fun, too, and sometimes exactly. we need to get away. <laughs> we just need to get away. Exactly. So, yes, Restoration Weekend. So, this, because I'm looking at it now, it says Restoration Weekend. Um, yes. It gives you the cost per person, including a hotel, meals, water park, Lazy River, <laughs> VIP. Yes. <day. laughs> so, I'm telling you, it's going to be awesome. For, um, for your deposit. Yeah, so actually it's going to be closing May 15th, so that's coming up soon. So make sure you guys get in. Yeah, because we are are almost full, but uh, we have to close it May 15th just to make sure we're able to plan everything, have the hotel space, the meals, and all of that. So make sure you guys register. Okay, so closing for the registration is May with is Sunday, May fifteenth. Yes. Coming up. Okay. Yes. And today is the eleventh, so it's in five days. Five closing days away. Five days. Five days. July twenty ninth through the thirtieth. Am I correct? Through the thirty first, yep. Well, the 31st, Friday night. Right. A welcome uh, dinner, and then we're going to have an amazing Saturday, and then Sunday we're going to close it out with our worship breakfast. Oh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I'm excited. (laughs) Yes. I am, too, because, you know, this is my first one. So, of course, you're doing all the, like, planning and all of that stuff, and I'm like, okay, this this is getting big, right? But I'm like, God, I put yes. it in your hands. I put it in your hands, oh God, because any vision that we get, it came from him. Anything God allowed Amen. us to see or think, it came from him, which means if we can see it, if we can think it, we can do it. Right. So, Amen. Yeah, I'm excited Amen. about it. Amen. I hear it in your voice, and I'm excited, too. <laughs> I'm really, really excited. I, I'm going to be checking my calendar to see what's what and what's coming up. Because I would, I would love, I would to, love to have you this. there, yes. Yes, yes. I, I've got to um, look at my calendar to see what's going on in July. Yes, 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 Fabulous. yes. Yes, I'm, I'm in, yes I've, because I've never been to Texas. <laughs> Okay, so you have to come. You have to come. So I have to come. 
So, yes, I have to come to Texas. I'm, yes. I'm excited. I am really, really excited. So, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be so awesome. I, I can tell. I feel it. I'm literally like, we have goosebumps. Mm. <laughs> I, I do. I do. I do. I do. <laughs> so, tell me. Okay, we have this coming up. We have the um, restoration weekend coming up. You have yes. your new single out with the video. And I did, I watched it a few months ago. I, wa- I looked at it. I thought, oh, so look at Miss Nikki Berry. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You know, I'm like still in the Thank process you. when you were, um, you know, getting glammed and changing into your outfits and everything. <laughs> Yes, and I yes. was like, wow. I said, look at Nikki. I said, she, Nikki has a glow. Oh, <laughs> the thank God you. giving glow. <laughs> yeah, the listen, it's glow. all him. Yes, ma'am. It is. Mm, 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 mm. So anything else new that's happening outside of the single, the new single? Well, I'm actually still in the studio. And so we are actually okay. finishing uh, five songs. So I'm going to have okay. an EP coming out soon. Okay. Uh, it's going to probably be in August. So look out for that. Um, and I'm telling you, these songs are just amazing. I'm like, God, you're blowing me away. So make sure you guys are following Nikki Berry. M U S I C. That's N I K K I B E R R Y M U S I C. That's everywhere Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, all that stuff. Make sure you're following so you guys can be the first to hear the new album. Yes. I am loving. And you got a prayer bundle here. And I yes. need you guys to go on to her link tree. And and in this NikkiBerryMusic dot com, and and just look at everything that's there. All the products are beautifully done. They're exquisite. They're, you know, it just looks so. I don't know. It's just amazing. I love it. I love the Thank presentation. You so much. Every presentation is everything. I I just love it. Yes. And I see that you like all things pink. Is there a reason why you like all things pink? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. <laughs> yes, ma'am. When I saw it, I said, "That's my favorite. This color is pink." I said, "But this, I said, yeah." I said, "I, I know why Miss Bear likes pink. I just want you to put that's it right. Like that's pink. right. <laughs> and pearls. Yes, <laughs> and pearls. Yes, too. and I love pearls. The pink and pearls. I love it too." <laughs> So the um the prayer bundle will be coming out soon. Do you know how soon? Well, we can pre order right yes. to secure our shipment in the first inventory bag. Yes, it's out. It's actually out. Okay, okay, the book okay. Is out and the yeah, so you can actually get it right now. Okay, okay. Well I encourage you all to do that because I have my journey to restoration prayer journal. I've got to order more candles. I have yeah, I've got to order more candles because so I, you know, I don't let anybody use my candle that I got. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. No, that's a special candle. That's special. That's special. special. Everybody <laughs> says they last so long. Like, they are long-lasting premium candles. Yes. So they will they will Fairly. last a long time, and they even smell good, and they're not even burning. Exactly. I mean, literally, they have. Say, What's that? Yes. <laughs> yes. They might be store candle. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Yes. I love it. Mm. And she had, yes, I, I do too. I do too. Um, I need the listeners. She, I downloaded, well, make to my song, Restore Me on Apple. <laughs> yes, I did. Yes, I did. I sure did. And it is in my, when I turned 54 last year is when I did mm-hmm. a, 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 a um, playlist of songs, and it was about restoration. Mm. It was about restoration, not knowing that when I switched memberships, the pastor said to me, he said, God is going to restore everything that you lost. And and all and immediately wow. restore me came to my mind, 
and I just boo like a I boo and cry like a baby on oh, that. Oh wow! That, they call it the mourner's bench. <laughs> you mm-hmm. know, and I was like, wow! I said, this is what led up to this, and now I see. You know, and you know, slowly but surely, I see things being restored. Um, you know, my confidence. You know, because people think restoration deals with the um, material or the monetary things, but can hmm. I get restoration and a peace of mind? Come on now. I think Come that is now. so so important is having a peace of mind. How I can mm-hmm. work or, or walk into a chaotic environment and it doesn't affect me at all because I have that peace that surpasses all understanding. Yes. Yes. You indeed. know, can I can I can I can I be restored in the fact that I got good health? Right. Or it's something like maybe happening in my health. Yes, that, that you know that full, that total full, you know, restoration, and perhaps I may not have a total healing in my health, but I got about it. Gratitude, God is going to do what He's going to do. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. It's not mm. just uh, just things um, are right. feeling like we're not where we should be or feeling like, you know, my life should be here. I should have this. I should be this. It is who did God create me to be? I want to be restored to that. I want to be fully restored to who am I really? Because I started to think about that thing and I said, God, most of the time we don't even know who we really are. We know what we were taught. We know our name that we were given. We know the things that people have told us we are good at and we are. And we start to say that we are the things that we do, where we work, what we have achieved. That's not who we are. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. Most people don't know who they Mm -hmm. are. And it's as we get closer to God and we ask God to restore our thinking and our mind and our peace and our joy to bring us back, to recognize, to really be able to see past all of the cloudiness, to see who we really are. And when we find out who we really are, that's when God can fully restore us. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. (laughs) Amen. 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 What inspired the project's name, Grace and Mercy? Oh, that came from me just thinking back because uh, I had been through a lot of things, you know, which which kind of led me mm-hmm. to write uh, those other songs, you know, the Restore and the God and I and all of that, you know, the struggle. And then I started to look back on it and I said, God, if it had not been for your grace, and your mercy, mm-hmm. like, where would I be? And so just wanting to let God know that I recognize that I'm not taking it for granted where I am right Amen. now, <laughs> that I'm not taking it Amen. for granted of what you brought me out of, what you pulled me out of. Some things I put mm-hmm. myself mm-hmm. in, but you mm-hmm. pulled me we out, do. God. You have mercy Hallelujah. on me. Yeah. Like, you still showed me grace. Your grace is yes. sufficient. Like, all of these things I had heard growing up, when it got real to me of understanding that his grace is sufficient in all things, and it's amazing. Why? Because I don't deserve it. That's why it's amazing. Mm-hmm. Something that's amazing means it's, like, beyond thinking. It's like, wow, like how could you give me this kind of grace, unworthy as Mm -hmm. I am? So yeah, this is just a song of praise and thanks and just letting God know that I recognize that it's not me. Because if it had not been for your grace and mercy. If it had not been for your grace and mercy, where would I be? Yes, Lord. You know, and and adding to it, you know, grace is a pure gift. You know, when God Mm -hmm. gives people grace, he does it freely. Right, right. When we right. receive God's grace, we do so without earning. We're not deserving. And we don't expect mm-hmm. it. We experience God's goodwill as a pure expression of his love for us. Yes. You know, and That's mercy. It. Choosing to be compassionate towards those whom it is possible to punish for their sins. When God gives people mm-hmm. mercy, 
he does so even though it is within his power to punish us. But he right. gives us mercy. God chooses compassion, acts, yes. you know, kindness and forgiveness than rather punish us when he could easily Isn't do Isn't that so. beautiful? Mm. Beautiful. Mm. I mean, mm. just beautiful. So I just wanted to take a minute and just thank God for his grace and mercy. Because there's Amen. just something about his grace. And just thanking him that his mercy is following me, you know, all the days of my life. So Amen. this song here is a pick-you-up song. This is another listen to in the morning. Get your day going. Get your day started. Yeah. Grace and mercy. Amen. Amen. Now that put me in the mind of um the late Reverend James Cleveland. When he said um, he penned something about God's grace, something mm-hmm. about um, that, you know, that, 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 and I, it just came to mind. And he, I got, I could literally hear him singing about something about God's grace, something mm. about God's grace, <laughs> you know, James and it is Cleaver. very true. James, it's something about God's grace, you know, you know, yes, he it chooses is. it, you know, ooh, Jesus. Have mercy, Lord. Woo! Just can't even. <laughs> you can't even explain grace. It's, exactly. it's just like yeah. Woo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like you said, when you we put ourselves in situations, and I, and you, you, know, you think back on it, and I and I've had time to reflect. I said, "Oh God," I said, "I was mm. silly." I said, "I was so yes, silly." Ma'am. But you, I said, because you you kept me in my silliness and that mess. Yes, he Thank did. Thank you for keeping. You kept me here for a reason. Yes, he you did. You kept me here for a reason. I said, you gave me some mercy. I said, ooh, I, said, I could have been dead in my mess. Mm-hmm. Killing me. And I look back on, I said, yes. mm-hmm, I don't want to go back there. I just blip, I just take a little peek. I don't want to go back there anymore. I just tell him, God, I thank you. If I don't write thank anything you. in my journal, God, I look back and I thank you. Yes, thank you, thank you. I, I thank because you we don't we don't recognize it, you know. This, thank you. We do not. Come on, come on. Well, we couldn't keep <laughs> ourselves because we didn't even recognize it. We didn't even recognize mm-hmm. that we were doing things that we shouldn't have or that we was just messed up. But when you think back, like, oh Lord, thank you. Thank you for them college thank days. You, thank you. For, oh, come on, come on now. Look, it's a college student that's listening Ooh. right now, and you think yes. you are the only one. Baby, you're not the only one, and you're going to be okay, mm-hmm. and you're going to make it. You yes. just got to know who to oh, call yes. on. Amen. Yeah, amen. You know, amen. Um, dealing with this, these students, and you probably read about it and heard about it in the media, them and their um, student athletes and their mental health issues, that, and, yes. it, and it's real. Mm-hmm. And I know it's real because I have a student athlete, and we talk about certain things. What's on your mental today? How are you mentally? How are you emotionally? Mm-hmm. And when she begins to talk about certain things, and I'll, and I'll shoot her. I said, listen to this song right here and read the scripture. And she said, Mama, listen to Restore Me. I said, mm-hmm. I said, God will mm-hmm. do it. And she also yes, said, Mama, you are a living witness to how God has, it, it, it is restoring, how God has kept us and kept you to see us all get ready to graduate. She'll be the third one to graduate college. My, but my, my. Saying, Congratulations. Saying, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, wow. And I, you know, and, I, and I always tell her, you know, and I, I, when she calls me, I, I can hear the stress of her day. I can mm. I can hear it. And I said, Olivia, just pray. Ask God to keep you. I said, when you can't keep yourself, ask God to show you some grace and mercy on this journey. Ask yes. him for strength to empower you. I said, when you in that when you feel like you're in that valley, that valley low, mm-hmm. I said, girl, there's mm-hmm. light in the valley. I said, there's peace in the valley. There's joy in the valley. Yes. I said, That's God it. can restore grace and mercy. Grace and mercy. Grace and Thank mercy. Thank God for it. They Something work together. <laughs> yes, and you know, they work together. They work together. <laughs> you know. Yes, indeed. Ooh, it says, um, "Ooh, Jesus. Ooh, every time I talk to you, 
<laughs> Thank you, Lord. I just get God is just so, so happy. good. He's yeah. so good. I just get so happy. Mm, 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 mm. I'm excited about this new project that's out. And the video, Thank I love you. the video. <laughs> um, and I will check my calendar for Restoration Weekend. Yes, Restoration I really Weekend. Feel like I deserve it. <laughs> I you do deserve it. it. I I deserve it. I deserve it. I deserve yes, you do. it. I, yes, ooh. you do. Mm, 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 mm. I'm excited. It's gonna be so. I'm awesome. just so excited. Oh, so awesome! Yeah. And I, 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 like I say, I, and I keep saying it over and over again. I'm really, 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 um, you know, excited, excited. You know, um. And I just want to um, leave these words, and then I'm going to let you take us out in prayer. Um, yes, ma'am. You know, uh, you know about exhibiting um, ways, how we can exhibit grace and mercy, you know, from the Bible to others. Choose loving words. You know, words are very powerful. Mm. They yes. can either help yes. or harm people. So, you know, we have to ask the Holy Spirit to guide us when we're speaking. You know, and I'm going to use my work environment as an example, every day I set the atmosphere because I know what I'm working with. I know who mm-hmm. I'm working with. You understand? So I set the yes, tone I do. and I was at God, give me grace for the race today. Bridle my tongue. Mm. Don't let me say anything that's offensive to hurt anybody's feelings. And let me be able to, you know, witness to someone as, you know, when I, when they come across um, the, the front desk. Let me let, let me be the light mm-hmm. in their darkness on yes. today. You know, apologize yes. and forgive. You know, when you make a mistake and hurt somebody's feelings, apologize. You know, right. ask for forgiveness. You know, I make it a daily practice. And I look back. I say, God, if I said anything, if I done anything that wasn't pleasing to you or didn't represent you, God, I'm asking you for forgiveness and I repent of it. Um, Ernest Davis, the Wilmington Chester Mass, Ma- um, Wilmington Chester um, Choir has a song called God's Mercy. And every day, I, every night, I listen to that song. Every yes. night. Because, you know, it's a God's mercy. His mercy, His mercy. God's mercy. You know, when I think about, you know, what I shouldn't have said today. Yes. You know, and I think about, you know, those things just, <laughs> you know, and it, and it touched me. I ended up having church all by myself. <laughs> all by ourselves. You know, <laughs> all by myself. <laughs> you know, we got to show acts of kindness. You know, just simple way, smiling at somebody. You know, just yes. saying, greeting them with, you know, you may be having a bad day, but I don't want to exude that to somebody that comes across my, you know, that I'm right. daily. I That's don't want right. to do that. That's right. That's you know, right. You know, express, you know, express gratitude. Train ourselves, train our mind, you know. To count our blessings and appreciate our blessings, you know. That's it. Practice you know, and it. listen. Practice it. <laughs> practice. Practice. And number five is listen to other people's stories. You know, mm. uh, we live in a world where there's so much talking than than listening. You know, and and that's what a lot of my mm-hmm. friends say. I don't do much talking, but I will listen to them. You know, I got this one friend. I do talk his ears off, so yeah. <laughs> you know, I know he has elephant ears when I get through with him. <laughs> you know, there's yeah, something about I, being I, a I, good I, listener. Is, yeah, it is. It is. You know, and as God loves flows through our life, you know, we'll recognize all sorts of opportunities to show grace and mercy to others. You know, we have to let yeah. the Holy Spirit guide us every day. And be willing to say yes, yes to opportunities to encounter. When you do, you'll experience many moments of wonder. You know, I thank you for coming on tonight. Thank I you for having me. For number episode 55 means a lot to me. is double nickels because Saturday, May 14th, God said my life, I will be 55 on this coming Saturday. <laughs> Yes. Wow. Happy birthday, yes. sis. Thank you. Thank you. Happy and I birthday. Was like, yes. Nikki is coming on episode 55 leading into my 55th <laughs> birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Happy birthday to you. 
Happy yes. birthday to you. Happy birthday to Veronica. Happy birthday to Happy birthday. Ooh. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to thank you for so much for being my guest again, without a doubt, without hesitation. Get the yes. project, you all, Grace and Mercy. Go to the website, get your get your beautiful candles, your I Believe t-shirts, get the prayer candle bundles. Get candles, different sizes, yes. 12 and 20 ounces. Everything, Please everything. Do. <laughs> Every, get everything, everything. And I thank Jerry Royce and the, and the positive power of the XI Christian Media family for the platform, as you, as always. I thank my sponsor. We thank our sponsor, Off Your Callers, you know, for being a seed planter. I appreciate it to the utmost, to the utmost. And I thank God for allowing me to come on Tuesday and just be transparent mm. for transparency in him and 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 into the things that have occurred in our lives that we can talk about it and say hey we were here but we've got the victory and mm-hmm. we are living mm. for it my good Amen. sister Nikki is going to take us out in prayer and then we're going to play her song going out yes yes, yes, yes. God we thank you, Father. Lord, we thank you, Father, for just being who you are in our lives, God. We just thank you, Heavenly Father, that you have kept us to this moment. We thank you for protection, God, for guiding us, for keeping us, God, on the right track, oh, God, for, for just guiding us, God, every time we veered off in our own way, God. We thank you for pulling us back, oh, God, and for keeping us, oh, God, on purpose, oh, God, in purpose, oh, God. We just say thank you right now tonight, God. Lord, we honor you. We say hallelujah, God. We take a minute to just worship you, God. We've gone through our day. God, so I just want to give you mm. your time right now. Hallelujah to yes, your name. Lord. Hallelujah, oh God. We worship you. Hallelujah we honor you. you. We love you. We reverence you, Hallelujah oh God. Jesus. You're so good to us. There's nobody like you, oh God. Thank You're you, everything. Jesus. You have everything, God. You have all power, and we just say thank you, Hallelujah, God. Jesus. Oh God, thank inhabit you, our praise, God. Rest oh, in our God. praise right now, God. Hallelujah, oh, let your Jesus. praise Jesus reign, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Lord, I pray right now, God, that you would forgive us of our sins, oh God. Wash away all of our sins, Heavenly Father. Wash away those sins that have been holding us captive, oh God. That God, let us let it go on tonight, Heavenly Father. Let forgiveness wash us tonight in the name of Jesus, oh God. Lord, we thank you for keeping us and caring about us, oh God, enough to wash us and forgive us, Heavenly Father. So we thank you for forgiveness. Now, God, I ask, Heavenly Father, that you would just raise us up above circumstances, above sickness, above doubt, above anything going on in our lives, God, any negativity, God, raise us up right now. I mean, just raise us up above it all, all of our trials, God, issues that may be going on in our homes and on our jobs. If you would lift us up out of it, oh, God, those things would get smaller. If you would lift us up out of it, oh, God, we would focus on you, Heavenly Father. So lift the heavy burdens on tonight and lift us up. Lift down the bowed head on tonight. God, lift that person who's been depressed, who haven't been able to get out of bed. Oh, God, lift them right now. Give them strength that they won't understand where it comes from, God. Lord, I'm praying, I'm interceding right now, God, that you would heal your people mentally, Heavenly Father, that you would release them, oh God, from the stress of this world, from the things that people expect of them, God. Release them from the expectation of others in the name of Jesus. And God, let our minds be stayed on you, on your word, on what you think of us, Heavenly Father. 
your word that we're beautifully and wonderfully made. We receive that tonight, oh God, and we thank you, Heavenly Father, that it shall not be otherwise, oh God, that we are the headed, not the tail, that we are more than conquerors. We receive that tonight, oh God. We receive that tonight. We walk in what you said about us. We walk in what you see about us. And it is so. In Jesus' name, amen and thank God. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Bless your name, God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Oh, God. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Something about the name Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah, God. You're so worthy, God. You're worthy of this moment, God. You're worthy of the worship in this moment, oh, God. You're worthy, oh God. Yes, you are, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Yes, Father. Thank you. Rest, rule, and reign, God. Rest, rule, and abide in us, oh God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you for the release on tonight, God. Thank you for the healing on tonight, God. Thank you for the strength on tonight, God. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord, that we can go higher, God. We can move faster, God. We can run towards our destiny, oh, God, because the weights are off, God. We can move faster, oh, God. We thank you tonight. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, God. We owe it all to you, God. We give you all the honor, all the glory, oh, God. We give you all the honor, all the glory, oh, God. Thank you. There's none like you. Yes, God. There's none like you. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, my God. What a time, what a time, what a time. Miss Veronica. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes. This anointing podcast Ooh. you got going on, sis, right here. Ooh. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes, God. Oh, but God said not so. You shall run on. Your purpose will be seen and felt and heard. You're going to move faster than you ever have. You're going to move faster than you ever have. I mean, you're going to move at speeds you don't even understand. Oh, God, thank you, Jesus. Yes, oh, God. Yes, oh, God. Because, see, when we got weights on us, we're trying to move, but it's hard. It's a struggle because those weights from the past, those weights from things and people are holding us, and we're trying to move forward, and we're looking forward, but it's a struggle. It's a struggle. It's a strain, and it hurts. But God said, if you would just release the burdens, lay down your heavy burdens. That's what my grandmother used to say. (laughs) If you would just lay Mm -hmm. down those heavy burdens, baby, you can move so much faster. You can move and work and really be in purpose so much faster and so much lighter, so much freer. Yeah. Yeah, God. Yes, God. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, thank you. Yes, indeed. Yes. Jerry, are you ready for the outro? <laughs> We're yes, ready for the God. music. Mm, okay. <laughs> you hear me say she's so nice. <laughs>
your hearts be troubled you believe in god believe also in me brothers and sisters we do not want you to be uninformed about those who sleep in death so that you do not grieve like the rest of mankind who have no hope for we believe that jesus died and rose again and so we believe that god will bring with jesus those who have fallen asleep in him according to the lord's word we tell you that we who are still alive who are left until the coming of the Lord will certainly not perceive those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangels, and with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. Thank you for joining us, Pearls with Veronica. Thank you for tuning us on Tuesday night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Join us and share the file. I'm Jerry Rose Live Worldwide, and welcome to Positive Power, that works at Christian Media. Hey, 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 my name is Davis and I'm from Haiti, but I'm living in Dominican Republic. I'm here, Positive Power 21, Jerry Walsh Live, worldwide.